and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some brand new fall finds at the Dollar Tree. So I was really excited. I actually found some things I have not seen in my local Dollar Tree ever for fall. I don't know about you, let me know in the comments if you feel like sometimes when the seasonal stuff rolls out, it's kind of overwhelming and then underwhelming at the same time because it's a lot of repeats. Now, I did find some items that they have each year that are repeats but good, but I did find some items I've never seen before. I am so excited to craft with, so I wanna share those with you. I'm also gonna show you some items that I picked up that I will be using for fall DIYs, but they are not necessarily seasonal items. That way you can just kind of keep in mind some items to maybe look out for, to turn into fall and Halloween decor, but are not necessarily seasonal. I do like to give lots of options on my channel, so that is why I'm gonna show those as well. And enough rambling, let's get into it. So one of the things I was really excited to find was this doormat. Granted, it is $1.25. It's not gonna be the most sturdy, rug you're gonna find for outdoors but for a dollar 25 it is super cute i finally found something that is not a truck not that i'm against the trucks but it's just nice to see something that's a little more my style so i was excited to find this they had a few different options that i have not seen before so i picked up that and it is on the smaller side so you can definitely layer it on top of an existing rug that you have but again, even if it doesn't last until next season, you're not spending a lot of money and it is a really cute way to upgrade your seasonal decor. New item that I have not seen before are these faux leather pumpkins. They had a few different colors. I didn't go crazy with these because I'm not necessarily crazy about the shape. I think that the shape's a little wonky, but I love faux leather. It definitely lends to a more like modern boho aesthetic. So I picked up, I believe, two of the orange pumpkins and I made for place to set the, the, the stems. Um, super cute though. Keeping with the pumpkin theme, um, these sweater pumpkins were super cute. They had them in like a dark gray, this cream, orange, and then like a blue teal color. These have the clips on them. So they are just made for wreaths, just DIYing really. Um, I got two of the cream, two of the orange. I think I have an idea in mind for them. We'll see. Not everything always works out. But let me know in the comments if you have found these. Um, I also picked up some stems, which I'm going to show you, I think, next. Okay, so the stems were really exciting. Again, they had the same color scheme. So I picked up, I just kept the orange and the cream. Um, I do like teal. I just don't know. I don't know if I was gonna do it for fall, but I picked up some of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'll figure it out. And then let me know in the comments if you have found these. I loved this. Okay, I thought it was an apple. It's clearly a pumpkin and it says a pumpkin. So let me know what you thought this was. <laughs> if you saw it. <laughs> if you saw this in your Dollar Tree, I thought it was an apple. It's not, it's a pumpkin. They had this in the, it's funny you thought it was an apple. I don't know, I don't know. Um, they have this in a light and a dark, which I have. Um, I just love it because it has that kind of rattan wicker look that I go for. So again, something new, something exciting at the Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree always seems to have these each year, but I miss it most of the time. So I picked up two of these. I want to do a macrame project. I just have to like map it out in my head. Um, I know people like take them and they do like a bigger pumpkin. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with these. It was just one of those things that they have every year, but I don't find it. So I picked it up. And then in the fall, I just love a good wreath. So I picked up a wreath form. Now, speaking of wreath forms, let me know in the comments if Dollar Tree has stopped selling willow wreath form they stopped carrying them but i miss them they were so easy to just like stick florals in the thing that kind of drives me crazy about these wire ones is like you gotta like wrap it with stuff unless there's a better way to add florals to this i have not figured it out but as i complain i did pick it up to make wreaths i have not seen this at my dollar tree this is upside down last year it's these stacked pumpkin signs um these are really cute 
a little bit annoying if you're going to redo them because the stems are painted on. So I got to figure out that, but I like anything that is a different shape and long. And then of course I got one of just like the classic cliche pumpkin signs they have. Um, I did, I think like a Jack and Sally one last year for a topiary. I have a lot of Halloween planned some fall, but a lot of Halloween, some unique stuff. So picked up that with Halloween and mom. I'll link my Nightmare Before Christmas video from last year. Um, I'm gonna do a new one. So when I found these, I was really excited. These Halloween trees. Um, I think they also had one that looked like a candy corn, more of the colors, um, but it was like, it was busted at my store. So I picked up these. Um, I know these, I mean, if you have Christmas ones, you can always paint them, but if you can find them in the Halloween uh, section, that's even better because less painting you have to do, right? Super cute, as I almost break it. Um, these amber potion bottles, they had these longer ones and then these smaller. Um, really cute for a like tear tray for Halloween decor. Um, I'm not gonna put these on a tear tray. The idea just came to me, so I gotta write it down so I don't forget. But I thought these were cute. I think they had another style also, like in clear, but I liked the amber. It looks a little more like Halloween-y. Halloween-ish. I have so many florals just stashed in bins in my craft room. So I didn't really need to get fall florals. I picked up some my last haul, which I can link down below because it's still some like fall decor. Um, but I picked up some of the Halloween flowers. I picked up a whole bunch. I'm not going to show the, the stack of it I got, but I got the black rose bunch. I love this purple for Halloween and as well as this red. And it has like the little um, skeleton heads as well. In those. Um, and then I got this foam skeleton head. I was so excited to see this and it was larger um, than I feel like previous years. Um, I'm waiting for like the plastic skeleton stuff to come out still at Dollar Tree. So I'm definitely gonna make another trip or two for Halloween decor, but I picked up this. So I was excited to see that. All right. I also picked up some fall color yarn. Um, I love these kind of rust um, classic colors. Um, I have a video coming up making fall decor using like everyday items that you don't necessarily need to be seasonal. So I wanted to include this and these colors are really pretty. So that will be in that video whenever I get to it. Okay. And then what I thought for Halloween, like I've had a lot of like book related videos on my channel recently, but I have no idea what this book is about. Um, it actually seems decent. But to me, this cover is beautiful and just screams Halloween. So don't forget to look at the book section at your Dollar Tree because you definitely can find some books to craft with. I did a whole video, which I will link down below, which is like books you can craft with. But if you find ones that have really pretty cover art, it makes great just like props for decor. And then these are, these are heavy. Um, I love the designs in these porcelain pumpkins. You can paint them, you can leave them as is. They definitely have more of my like decor style because they're kind of boho-ish. So I picked up two of these. Every year, I always get these burlap leaves. I just love them. They have them in um, the burlap natural shade and burgundy, but now they have these faux leather leaves and like how freaking pretty are these? Like, I think this is so pretty. Um, they come eight in a pack and then so these come five in a pack um, So I cannot wait to craft with these. I love seeing all the faux leather this year and I also got these faux leather tags. They had a pumpkin and a leaf But these are just great accents for different DIYs up two of these wood frames now They always have these in the crafter square section and I'm gonna do them for like a fall project but how cute are these? They're these pumpkin frames and they're a decent size too. Now they had apples, acorns, and the pumpkins. Um, I picked up two pumpkins for my two pumpkins, which are, which they are both trying to be good while mommy is filming this now. Um, but I love, love, love doing any type of DIY with picture frames. So I thought these are really cute and I've never seen these before. Let me know if you have seen these and if you picked them up, which one did you get? The pumpkins, the acorns. I think they might even had a leaf too. They had a whole bunch. My friend Kristen K is like the rub on transfer queen. She does so many vi videos, videos, there we go, with them. Um, I am hit or miss with them, but I thought this one was really cute for a wine glass. So it's so cute as is, right? Hello Autumn with the pumpkin. So I'm gonna try this. 
wish me luck. They had a whole bunch of different ones of these. And then I finally got some wood bead garland. They had, this is the rounded one. Does it say how long it is? It does not, but it's pretty long. I'd say maybe like, I'm not even gonna guess because I'm really bad at judging, <laughs> judging the length of things. So um, I got the round. They did have squared also. Chalkboard pumpkins. These are a little bigger, I think, than last year. But if you don't want to use the chalkboard, you can also flip them over and just use them as the unfinished wood um, pumpkins. So you have two options there. And then I did get some of the pumpkin wood cutouts. They have these each year. I like this size. I did use ones with the three different sections and the taller pumpkin for a hocus pocus um project i did last year i have a lot more hocus pocus diys coming up this year and i will have a recap video with like the over 30 hocus pocus diys i did last year that will be coming up next week on my channel um but i went with four of these this year and then i did get i didn't realize i got two they must have been stuck together these halloween um haunted house ones now I love these because of the frame so I have an idea for this and I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of upcycle it a bit so I was really excited to find these you kind of like decor signs I saw this year this really cute envelope they had something similar but in a larger size for ho not Halloween for Valentine's Day so I picked up this I mean honestly if you don't want to use this for fall um I know exactly what I'm using this for but if you don't want to use this for fall, you can totally use this for any time of year and just redo it. And then I thought this sign was really cute. Um, I'm going to redo this, but I like that it has the basket weave look in it or the um, tobacco basket. That's what it is. Um, they had a few different ones, I think, with different borders as well. But again, these are just two new signs that I've seen so far as fall is rolling out in my Dollar Tree. I picked up this pumpkin just because I thought it was cute and it's the foam ones but it is a more like longer it's probably like three or four inches tall but it's like a longer elongated there we go pumpkin i like this shape i cannot wait until the foam pumpkins come out i love doing different projects with those and then i also picked up some bows one more fall and one halloween one of the skeletons on it did not make it they also have them in purple but i think it's somewhere in my bag so that's the beauty of hot glue, right? Last two items that I'm going to share with you are not seasonal, but I'm going to use them for seasonal. So Dollar Tree has these almost year round now, these um, sign plaques with the hooks. Um, the hooks are actually really sturdy. I like them, but I like going by the shape of things. So I have an idea for a, I think, Halloween project using this. Um, so I picked up two of these and then I picked up six of these photo frames. These are four by four. Again, another seasonal idea with this. Um, but don't forget like the signs that are around year round, picture frames. It's another really easy, quick way to make a seasonal project that you can change out. And you don't have to worry about getting every single seasonal item that the store has. I hope you enjoyed this fall. Let me know in the comments if you have seen any of the items that I shared or what is an item you found recently in the seasonal section of really any craft store or Dollar Tree cited you recently. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy hauls and would like to see more, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.